Welcome back to day two of Avaya Engage. We're here in Dubai at the Atlantis Hotel. I have with me Fatin from Avaya. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. That's very polite. <laughs> so Fatin, tell us, um, tell us a little bit about your role within Avaya and what you do. Yeah, I've been with Avaya for five years now. I'm the regional sales leader for a region covering the Gulf and Pakistan and Iraq and I um, focus on service providers in the region. Um, that's what I do in Avaya. <laughs> so customer experience, it's a huge topic across the industry. Absolutely. Tell us about how that's, um, that's changed, how, why that's so important within the telco community right now. Yeah, so customer experience is in the heart of what telcos are doing um, nowadays, right? It is the hot topic, it's what everyone is focused on, and it is important. Why it's important? Because the customer expectations have changed and service providers have been always pioneers in, you know, in customer satisfaction, in customer rating, and it builds loyalty, to be honest. To have a good, satisfied customer is important in building loyalty. Customers' expectations have changed. They want their service provider to be able to um, resolve their issues on the first call or contact with, with my service provider. They want to be able to reach the service provider through many channels, whether I go to their uh, retail store, I call them, I WhatsApp them, I reach them through social media. I want to be able to reach this organization anytime, anywhere, and tell them what's my issue or subscribe to a service and have it resolved in the shortest time possible. It's, it's a fast moving industry and it is very important to elevate the customer it is, experience. It is fast moving and those technologies that are coming through uh, all the time are really supporting this uh, customer experience role. What, I mean, what are those um, the most important technologies which are having an impact on customer experience right now? So other than the, you know, introducing various digital channels for, for, for customers to be able to reach the organization, we've seen a huge interest in artificial intelligence, right? And this is, this is important and you know, there's, everyone says artificial intelligence and, and people think robots and whatever. It's not like that. It's a lot of services can be efficiently held using um, the artificial intelligence. And it's, it's very important to differentiate between artificial intelligence and a human agent. Human agents are important. So we still, we're still gonna have humans yeah, around? Yeah, yeah, you will always need the humans. I, I like to talk to humans. Yeah. So when I use any customer um, uh, service center, I always opt to use, uh, to talk to an agent, but, Having, and it's a big but, you are having now a different segment of customers. These customers, they want and they're happy to talk to a machine and they're happy to, to, for their inquiry to be addressed by a machine. To, for them to send a message and receive a, you know, an, a, 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 a typed a reply where they can have the time to read it and see through the instructions. So it's very important for all the service provider, and we're, we've seen that across board in all service provider adopting artificial intelligence and introducing it in their customer contact centers. Well, let's, let's talk about Avaya. Obviously, you play a part in this customer experience. What is that role with the telco community? So our approach, it's an Avaya thing, if you want to call it. We've always um, worked with our customers, with our service providers, as their technology uh, consultant, as their technology partner. So what we do is we, we develop a roadmap, a technology roadmap that serves the overall uh, company strategy. So, you know, we align with their overall company strategy, we align with their customer experience goals, and we develop the technologies according to their priorities that serves that strategy. So we work with them hand in hand, with their partners. We're not, we're not a vendor, we're part, we partner with these service providers. And most of the service providers that are our partners, 
um, we've, we've started the journey two years back, three years back, and the journey will continue for a few years to come because it's not a one-stop shop. It's, things are changing, the industry is moving very fast, now the introduction of the 5G, expectations are changing, so we will have always to stay with our partners, customers, to provide the best in the industry. Let's talk about those expectations. You mentioned it at the beginning there, but um, they have changed quite a lot. I mean, how is that likely to evolve? Are those expectations going to evolve more into 2020 and beyond? Absolutely, absolutely. When the, you know, you have to think that 10 years back, uh, a 10 years old was not your customer in the service provider. Now this 18 years old is a huge segment in the customer segment of the service provider. These people, they use your data, they use your minutes, and you want to be able to address their needs, to address their expectations. This is an important segment. But at the same time, you still need to satisfy the other segment, which is the older generation. So it is, it is not complicated, but it's a bit different than other uh, industries, like financial industries. You know, there is certain age when a person becomes your customer, yeah. as such. In, in the service provider, a, 50, a 14 years old has a phone, and they have expectations. And if their data is not working, it's a disaster, because they're not connected to the world. Yeah. And you need to be able to, for this customer to reach you, address their needs, address their inquiries. So it's a bit uh, fast moving, you know, and you will always have to come up with strategies to satisfy these customers. I mean, I think it's only going to get faster moving as well, this space. Okay, absolutely. Fatin, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you very thank much, you. you too. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. You've been watching David Dungay from Comms Business. If you want to catch up with all the action you can do using the Avaya Engage hashtag, thanks for watching.